Letter 47, Bivouac near Fredericksburg, Virginia, June 8, 1863. My dear Georgie, I shall not number this letter as I do not remember the number of last letter I wrote. My portfolio is with all my other baggage except a blanket some distance in the rear. On last Friday night, we had orders to cook two days rations, strike tents, and carry baggage to wagon yard. Saturday morning found our wagons going to the rear and a brigade marching to the front. We are on the height opposite Falmouth. Night before last, we were on picket in Fredericksburg. Enemy and small force have crossed river two miles below Fredericksburg. I don't think he intends to fight us here. A fight between the two confronting armies here is imminent, but I am not able to tell you where it will occur. I shall not be surprised if it will be at or near Manassas Plains. We have heard good news from Vicksburg. I sent you by H.L. Deason, $130. All the members of the company are well. Send word to Williams McCombs that David is well. He does not want his father to send him any clothing as he can buy it cheaper from government than he can be made at home. William Morrow is in excellent health. All the boys from our neighborhood are looking well except John Martin. His health is tolerably good. Your last letter was written before you heard of death of Prince. The last you had received from me up to time of writing was number 17. Referring to my memorandum, I found that up to date of your writing, I had written nine letters after writing number 17. So nine letters were on the way to you when you wrote. Remember me to all the family. Kiss Johnny for me, your husband, Elias Davis.